Hi Cancer, welcome to your November monthly tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, we're looking at whatever needs to come out, all energies, whatever you need to know for November. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the sign to mention. You definitely can flip it, switch it when you need to. Cross watchers as well could be a reading for you. Welcome in Cancer. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you need to know is down below in the description box, as well as your playlist and the link to my other channel. If you didn't know I had another channel, in your playlist for that channel. And if you're new here, check below the description box. There's a list of all six readings I do on the channel. I do five love readings, different ones, along with this uh, monthly tarot reading. So, Cancer, let's see what's going on. Cancer, let's see. We have transformation. Well, we have the death card, 13, which is four. Now, four is about foundation and it is about stability. So something's coming to an end, new beginnings, but it's about letting it end, healing, transformation, transcendence, transition into the new. You can be changing something about your foundation in some way, shape, or form, meaning maybe you're moving, you're going to change locations, maybe you're changing your job. Um, something that's definitely, you know, your foundation is, you know, your home, your friends, your family, your job, you know, your basics of life. So there could be some sort of transformation regarding your uh, foundation, maybe. So let's see, that is Scorpio energy. So let's see what else. Oh, we have two, the waiting game. So we have the two of wands. And this is about a new path. So you may have a new path that you're considering going down, but you're waiting on some sort of results or a decision or something like that. Two is about choices, decisions, partnerships, unities, and it doesn't always have to mean about love. And then we have the Ace of Wands, exciting new beginning. Something you feel excited, fiery, passionate about. Now this could be, this could be like a new career path. This could be an endeavor, project, a new relationship, but something I'm feeling more along the lines. It's not meant to be a career reading. It's meant to be whatever comes out. So we're going to clarify as we go. Some sort of exciting, fiery, new, passionate beginning based on your own ideas, creativity, inspiration, a relationship, or something else. Hmm. Then we have the Three of Cups, Rejoice and Celebration. So celebrating. So the transformation is going to happen. You'll be able to end one thing and move into the next to go down this path. It's an exciting new beginning, and then you'll be celebrating. Hmm, sounds good to me, Cancer, but let's see what is going on. So for the signs I see there, I see uh, Scorpio with death. So we are in Scorpio season, so it could be something happening um, up until maybe mid, um, well, mid-November, because then we go into Sagittarius season. All right, so let's see. Cancer. So on my other channel, Cancer, if you did not know I had one, if you're interested in more general kind of readings, I do about four 10-minute readings over there, and you will get money and career, spirit messages, what you need to hear right now, and your next big change. So next big changes out. They're all out except for money and career. So if you want to go check that out, link it's below. The world in reverse. Now the world is about cycles closing and a new cycle starting. Traveling or distance. So there's a new cycle waiting to start here, but we're in that waiting energy. So the world closes a cycle, a new cycle starts, and that's the Ace of Wands. So we're waiting for some sort. So I'm clar I want to clarify each one as we go. So I'm doing it a little bit different. You can let me know if you like that. So we're going to clarify transformation first, which is the death card. Why is that? Here we got the world. So it's kind of most like the same energy. You know, endings and new beginnings, endings and new beginnings, but it's on hold because the world is in reverse. Seven of Wands. It could be something you're fighting for. Four of Swords. And this, it could be that maybe you had to fight for something or stand your ground for something. And now, okay, I did my part. You know, I did what I could. And now I'm just kind of sitting back and waiting, maybe healing a little bit. Um, this kind of like rest retreat mode. 
it's like I did my part, I stood up, I fought, I did what I could. Now I'm just going to sit back and kind of rest and heal whatever I need to do until some sort of maybe decision comes in. Queen of Cups, well there you are, Cancer. So it's definitely about you. Let's get one more. Eight of Swords, yeah, you're feeling stuck because I feel like you're waiting. I don't know why, like, I feel like you're waiting on some sort of decision, judgment call for this to completely like seal the deal or okay I can end this I can step into this new path I feel like you've done everything you could and now you're just kind of holding back like okay so I just need to wait wait my I don't want to say biding your time but it's like you're right here queen of cups you're stuck but I feel like you did everything you could here with the seven of wands seven of wands gets up and they fight for what they want they defend themselves What's on the bottom here? Knight of Cups. So you're hopeful things are going to move forward in your favor. Nine of Pentacles. Single, independent, justice. So yeah, it's waiting for... Um, you're a little confused, Seven of Cups, of how the whole thing's going to go here. But we do have success and victory, so I think it's going to go in your favor. But justice is, you know, universal law and order. Truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve. Could be something legally, it could be something in the judicial system, a settlement or just, you know, you getting what you deserve. And Nine of Pentacles, very single, independent. Um, you make your money, you don't have to worry, you can take care of yourself. And Knight of Cups, so I feel like you're hopeful, you know, this Knight of Cups follows intuition, very peaceful, hopeful, you know, f you know, moves forward with love, compassion, peace, harmony, joy, love and light in their heart, following their intuition. So I think you're, you know, you are hopeful. You are, although you're a little, you like, mm, I don't know how it's going to go. We do have, you know, it's destined for you right here with the star. So don't lose hope, faith, optimism, wish dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, things meant to be. Maybe you're meant to shine in this, whatever you do, being looked up to, being a leader, maybe. It's divinely guided energy here. So we have um, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, or that could be you again, uh, Cancer. Cancer, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. So let's see, let's clarify the way in game to and wants. Definitely a new path. So what kind of new path are we waiting on? What's is this two wants about? It's definitely about following a new path. Just let me shuffle this a little bit. Cancer. What is the two of wands about? Oh, death. Oh my gosh. I cannot make it up. See? <laughs> that is just crazy. Oh my God, can't make it up. So, yeah, you're waiting for something to conclude so you could step onto this new path. Definitely here. Queen of Pentacles. This could be rising up. That's like boss energy almost. Owning your own business or being a leader or, you know, a manager, rising the ranks as well. Making your money. The Hermit. Huh, some of you may be working solo. You may be in a position where you, you know, you get your own office, you know, you just work in your office all day, you don't have to deal with other people's BS, you know, kind of energy. So it could be a role where you're more of a leadership energy, but yet, um, or more of an important role in whatever you do where, you know, you have your own office, you do your own thing. It could be something like, you know, bookkeeping or something like that, or maybe an accountant, I don't know, because sometimes pentacles can be, you know, working with finances. It doesn't have to be, though. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, hard at work. She's kind of alone here. So that's kind of what I feel. It's like, oh my God, I just can't wait to just have my own space, do my job, not be bothered by anybody. And that's it. <laughs> that's kind of what I feel. Here. King of Pentacles. So oh. some of you may be able to get, maybe some of you are coming into a relationship with someone where you'll be at the same rank and you don't have to worry about, well, this person's below me. Now I, I can't be in a relationship with this one, with this person because they're below me or I'm, um, you know, I'm below them or whatever the case may be. I mean, that may not be for everybody. This could actually be maybe a business partnership where you may be like, Maybe you'll share an office or something. I mean, this sounds very specific, so it may not be for everybody, but you could be in some sort of um, alliance or partnership in your work energy where it's just, you know, working side by side with maybe one other person. You don't have to deal with any everybody else's bullshit. 
or you know some it could be divorce you know the end of that you know you're solo you're alone kind of working on yourself and king queen of pentacles can be a married couple um could be ending of a marriage or maybe finally coming together with someone because a marriage is complete as well oh we have an emperor i feel like a boss watching very closely especially if you know you couldn't be together before and say you work together or maybe a boss or something emperor could be a boss watching everybody very close i kind of get that energy but it doesn't have to be for everyone page of pentacles and the moon this could be an offer maybe you're not it's like you're not feeling it coming you're not seeing it coming you're trying to follow your intuition maybe a little surprised that it actually goes in your favor this could be the boss giving you the opportunity here with the page of pentacles also could be a divine masculine finally coming in with an offer you deserve that you don't see coming you know because you were kind of worried i don't think this is going anywhere but here's a brand new beginning in love with the ace of cups just saying so yeah high priestess could be someone you haven't talked to in a very very long time definitely look at the ten of pentacles here so some of you this is a business partnership very very successful whether it's just the two of you creating this or your business partners or a liaison a liaison um liaisons or whatever you are working hard here very very successful energy so we have pisces is a brand new beginning in love or a brand new beginning in life that you're just going to love the moon follow your intuition don't let fear doubt worry stress anxiety get you down or if you can't see the path clear ahead it could be some of you were kind of like in a secret liaison but now you can make make it public I think somebody was watching I know I just get that page of Pentacles but here's a solid offer whether it's from now this person because you can be together or the owner or someone giving you the promotion or a new title or something like that it could be also be even a new job so Pisces here Aries so that's the waiting game so you're waiting it's like you're waiting to be with this person because okay they don't have, you know, nobody's watching now or you're waiting on uh, for something to go in your favor which i do believe it is that is for sure all right so let's see what this ace of wands is so exciting times i feel a lot of excitement coming in for you and i know we're a little bit into november so this could go into december as well all right what is the ace of wands Ooh, the tower so now big changes are coming in here justice yeah getting what you deserve showing up again queen of swords king of swords oh my god king queen of pentacles king queen of swords that's crazy and the king of wands who are all these people who are all these people So we have Aries, Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aries again. I, I need to clarify who are all the, are these all co-workers or what is going on here? I mean, we have your energy here with the Queen of Cups. I mean, we have the King, Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, King, Queen of Swords, King of Wands. We're getting like almost all the court cards. All right, so who are all these people? Three pentacles. Okay, so it could be people you're working with. So um, I kind of got that feeling that you may work like with a lot of people that are just like BS. I mean, like, believe me, I know. And it's like you're making the big change. It's coming in for you. You're excited, finally getting what you deserve. Three of pentacles. Um, four of cups. Yeah, you're kind of bored with that whole situation. Hey, man, you just want to be left alone. <laughs> It's just like everybody's leave me the f alone i don't want to deal with your nonsense uh kind of turning into a money career reading here but take it how it was it could be family it could be you know maybe you're going to move away from family it's just like i want to be on my own there's too much nonsense um it could be your neighborhood it could be you know it could be anything where you're definitely going solo because i've seen the hermit a lot either you're going to move away be away from all the drama you're getting a promotion where you're going to be away from all the drama um you're getting out of a toxic relationship where there was a lot of drama it's like whatever this is the big change is coming you're getting what you deserve um 
and you're not dealing with all, then look at all these people involved so there's a lot of people involved causing nonsense i feel um definitely here which was kind of halting i feel like that world in reverse kind of putting it and you know standstill prolonging you know your moving on from this but hang man you know it's about per perspectives enlightenment that usually gets up takes action it's like i just want to hang out i just want to be alone just everybody leave me alone i'm, I'm done it's like four of cups i'm just kind of bored and done with all this nonsense it's definitely so you're excited for a new beginning here i feel like it's alone either alone with your person away from family toxic family or friends or work environment whatever neighborhood whatever it is for you you're excited now change is here you definitely are getting what you deserve and um done <laughs> done two ones yeah you're choosing that new path right there there's a divine clarity from source so it's somebody's message ace of swords awakening epiphany aha moment standing up telling it like it is cutting out cutting out what's no longer serving successful new beginning clear cut communication not beating around the bush in the night of search you're taking action quickly it's like oh yeah yeah this path is open and i'm barrel assing down this path and no one's stopping me. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm feeling here. Six of Cups. You may have family members that are very chaotic too. I mean, the Knight of Swords is fast-paced moving, but it can be very, very chaotic. So Six of Cups can represent family. So you could have family that's very, very chaotic. Maybe even parents. We have the Empress here. It doesn't have to be. But you know your value and worth. And you're definitely ready to get away from all this energy. You have Five of Pentacles. You're like, this all, all is lacking what I truly need and want in family dynamics relationships friendships it's not what i want here it's kind of what i feel i mean it may not be for everybody so we have libra taurus we have aquarius um pisces we have leo gemini libra libra aries so you're excited you're excited about this all right so let's see um the celebration is three of cups can be courting dating getting to know reunion or just celebrating or having good times with friends family i don't know why i feel like there's a lot of drama around you i mean the seven of wands too can be standing up for yourself setting boundaries because there's a lot of bs around you so you have the page of wands good news coming in information or good news or an offer strength so overcoming this so you're going to receive the information offer whatever this is and overcome all this energy that you're like just done ace of wands twice there exciting new beginning wow so i think all your cards showed up i think except for the three of cups i believe unless it was at the bottom of the deck i don't remember three of wands definitely you know you know what's coming it's like i mean boy when it comes here i'm off on this new path you, you can see the new path in the horizon you know it's there and it's like you're already shining your light down that path like it's all ready to go and you know i'm ready to go if you do is take the ace from the three you get the two ones which you have twice we have the ace of ones but i think you did get the two ones here somewhere it was on the bottom of the deck so and the Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, Divine Timing, things getting better, moving in the right direction, fine. finally things moving forward. And didn't I not say at the beginning that the world and the wheel were almost like the same energy? Did I say that at the beginning? Because if I did, now here's the wheel at the end, closing out, telling, well, this is not the end of the reading, but kind of telling you, because we're clarifying these four cards, I'm going to do one more row for advice, kind of what else you need to know, but it's like, now it's upright. So now the path is here, you can definitely... Take this wheel, stop moving down this path. You're exciting new beginning. You're overcoming this. The news, the confirmation, the offer, whatever this is, it's like you're playing your feet, like la la la, and off you go. <laughs> it's like, yeah, don't care anymore. So we have Sag Leo. Um, I think you had to reserve yourself a lot in situations where you really wanted to. You could have or wanted to blow up and you're like, nope, nope, I gotta be strong. I have to hold myself back. And then we have Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. The fool, yeah. Reset here, energetic reset. Taking a leap of faith, starting a new beginning. Well, there's the three of cups, I'll be damned. 
So celebrating, you're just celebrating your new beginning. Nine of Pentacles, single, independent, free from all the bull, uh, BS. That's kind of what I feel here. Making more money, you know, not having to worry. Five of Cups, you have a lot of sadness, I think, wherever you are now. King of Cups, there's a match to the Queen. Um, is also, can be your energy or it can be Pisces. Six of Pentacles, there's balance. Finally balance in your life in the Four of Wands. You could actually be moving away with somebody now and like settling down or moving in or getting serious with someone actually moving away together as well for some of you so it's different scenarios here so you're gonna have to take it how it resonates for you but we do have a lot of couples here um king queen of cups king queen of pentacles king queen of swords we have the king of wands we haven't seen the queen yet but um never know so we have Aquarius, Pisces as well. So let's see what else we need to know. We have soulmates here with the Two of Cups. So some of you definitely are going to either be coming into, a, into union with a soulmate as well. All right. Let's see what else we need to know moving forward for Cancer. Ten of Wands, yeah, burdens over, too many responsibility, too much overwhelming energy, burdens, everything done. Five of Pentacles, feeling that overwhelming lack energy. That's what I keep feeling here. It's like done, it's over. Change is happening, yeah, very toxic. Change is happening. Six of Wands, you're successfully, strength overcomes the devil, so that's good. So... You're success, successfully getting out of this toxic environment. Seven of Cups. Can be about a little confusion, illusion, or maybe that's others. Maybe they didn't know what you're doing and all of a sudden, you know, oh, by the way, and then you're gone and everyone's like, what? But let's see what the Seven of Cups is. So, yeah, Six of Swords moving on to a better place. Others may be confused about why you're moving on or what you're doing, but you're like, you know, I'm moving on to Peace, Harmony, Balance. I'm out of this. I'm out. I'm out. And you're moving forward to a better place. The unknown. I feel like you maybe didn't tell many people. What is that about? Knight of Wands. Taking action fearlessly. Taking control of your life. The uh, Empress. And again, moving on. Eight of Wands. Page of Cups. So I definitely feel like here... Um, I feel like this unknown is people not expecting this energy. Because you're moving forward fearlessly here with the Knight of Wands. Full of fire. The passion ignited. You got the fire right there. Like, yep, I'm on my way. I think you know where, where you're going, what you're doing. But others are like, I didn't know. What? what, what? <laughs> That's kind of what I feel here. So we have Sag, Libra Taurus. Um... Page of Cups and the Magician. Some of you are going to go, Sun's the happiest card in the deck. So you're definitely, there's a Queen of Wands. Wow, so that's Aries. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. Everything positive in life you could ever imagine. Magician, you know, new beginnings, manifesting this. So let's see, we have Aries, Leo, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Uber, Taurus, Sag, energy. So I feel like Cancer, for some reason you had to wait I don't know if it's, you know, you had to wait for the new job to come through or maybe if you were moving, you had to wait for something. Something, I feel like something had to close out or go through or, because like I said, I feel like you did all you could and then you just kind of like, okay, well, I just have to wait and you're feeling stuck, but then some sort of transformation comes through. And for some of you, it was either the new job or moving or something here. But you're removing yourself from this toxic environment and you're moving on to a better place. Either alone or with your person. It could be just mentally, physically, emotionally. Or even your work environment, like I said. Working, working like solo and you don't have to deal with everybody else's BS. Alright. Cancer. And I sound like I, you know, I know, sound like I keep repeating myself, so don't tell me in the comments. All right. Let's see what else. 
What else do we have for Cancer? What else do we have for Cancer? Nope. Light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. You're following the light, so you're coming out of the darkness into the light. Devil, it can be very dark. Intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Yep. Look at all this purple energy, which is spiritual energy, manifestation energy, open communication. Get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. Some of you have, I think, have held back for quite a while. Even though you stood up, you stood your ground, you still had held back for a certain point, to a certain point. And now that you are able to move on from this, it's just, you're going to tell it like it is. It's kind of what I feel here. And we have sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. Hmm. Okay, so maybe, you know, need to be a little more compassionate in the way we're vocalizing our truths, you know, in a way. That is for sure. All right, definitely see you moving on. All right, Cancer. So that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped, that resonated. Again, everything's down below. Your playlist, the other channel, your playlist there. So wishing you the best, Cancer. I'll be doing you versus them next. Uh, wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.